Hi, I'm Vince with Swartz Warehouse Service. Uh, so in this case, I'm going to be welding on inner cell connectors to that battery right there. Uh, first thing I do is put on safety glasses on that. The way I clean these inner cell connectors uh, is I use a Dremel with a metal cutting bit. The lead shards don't go really anywhere else except for right here on the floor. After I've gotten done cleaning it, you can see it's all nice and shiny lead, and this is a close-up version of what it looks like before I ever clean it up. These are my cleaned up inner cell connectors, so they are all pretty much this shiny. So the next step is to clean up these posts so they don't look nearly as good as the inner cell connectors. So my goal is to make this post look as good as this inner cell connector. Or this, this uh, post on the right is clean enough for me to be able to actually weld something on. So you can see this lead is still really dirty, really dusty, really oily, all that good stuff. So, and there is the cleaned up inner cell connector posts. This is what the floor looks like afterwards. So I'm gonna sweep up this whole area and uh, show you what the pile looks like. Lead is uh, very thin, and none of the lead shards that just came off of the inner cell connectors and the uh, cell posts is heavy enough to become airborne. So I'll show you what this pile looks like. And I can, believe it or not, reuse all of that lead. There's the floor, nothing on it, very, very clean. Well, clean enough. So here's all of the stuff that I just swept up, and here is my dirty lead bin. So it ends up staying right there until I get a chance to melt it into that pot right there. So the next thing for me to do is to get everything ready. I'm gonna need to get that torch set right there. I'll need a wet paper towel to be able to cool the lead just in case it gets a little bit too hot. I'll need a couple of lead welding sticks. Before I can start putting the inner cell connectors on here uh, to be able to weld them, I'm gonna need to pull these caps off. So, just take these caps off. These do allow the battery to vent or the cell to vent, but it still does allow a little bit of buildup of gases. So once that's all taken off, I take my air hose here and I spray into these cells, just regular old compressed air. So now, once all the cells have gotten the hydrogen out of them, I'm just gonna kinda spray off everything on top just in case there's any lingering hydrogen. So the first thing I wanna do is um, what's called flaming the, uh, the cells so that I can guarantee these cells aren't gonna woof. So this is what I do. I pass my flame over these cells and if I don't hear anything or nothing pops or anything like that, then I should be good to go. But the first thing I do is I heat up my lead stick. So what I'm gonna try to do is start here, um, make my way to there, then there, there, and then go all the way across, and then I restart here, and keep going. And so the first thing I do is melt the post down, and kind of flattens it down at the bottom. And then I put a little bit more lead in there, but you actually have to put liquid lead into liquid lead. 
And that smoke is just oil. Okay, that's about halfway done. There we go. Um, so this is the reason why I have this rag here. Um, I want to be able to prevent, you can see the steam coming off of it because it is fairly hot. I want to be able to prevent those uh, plastic washers that I put on the bottom from melting. All right, this is some of the final passes that I have to make. By a pass, I mean uh, basically what I'm doing right now. I get the top of the inner cell connector a little bit uh, melted, and then I put a little bit of filler, filler lead on top. Um, I have to melt the lead from the lead stick to be able to join the melted lead on top of the inner cell connector. Otherwise, it'll do what I call pancaking, to where I put a layer on top of layer on top of layer. What I'm wanting to do is introduce more melted lead into the middle of this inner cell connector, which is melted lead, making this one solid um, hunk of lead, basically. And uh, that's what it ends up looking like. I'm gonna make another video on how I make these lead sticks. This is what's left out of uh, two lead sticks, this is pretty much what's 